Hey, hey everyone, FX Channel House back again with another cool uh, quick tip for After Effects. I'm going to show you how to um, how to make this animation with your with your text uh, with some uh, layer masks. So um, it's a simple uh, quick tip and uh, very fast. So I uh, hope you follow up. So let's go. So the first thing we're going to do is just uh, let's make a new project. Let's do this. Let's make a new composition and uh, let's set the width for. 1920, uh, the height for 1080, frame rate for 30 is cool. The duration you can put this just to about 6 seconds. Should be okay. And, um, once we have this, we can start uh, pulling just a, just a background for this, so we can see the, the text a little bit better. And just choose a, choose a different color for us to to get the background. So okay. Once we have this, we can start uh, writing our text, and uh, and then to, to animate this uh, with that uh, with that layer mask. So I'm going to go to layer, and the layer I'm going to put text. I'm going to choose the text uh, mask. Mask. Okay. Okay. So this font is uh, next book. It's a cool font for you to use uh, on animations and intros. And, um, I think it's a really awesome font for for this. So once I have my text, I can start uh, organizing my my shape uh, layers. So I'm going to mask. I'm going to make a right click, and I'm going to put this new mask. And you see over here, we have a mask uh, selected on your text. So I'm going to make two clicks on this, just to put the mask uh, mask a little bit uh, bigger, so we can have a better detail on this. And now I can start animating my mask. So um, it's really easy and simple. So I'm going to my mask over here. And on the mask path, I'm going to put, I'm going to set it again, two clicks. I'm going to move my mask here. If you want to make a, a straight line, just uh, press the shift and drag and then the text will be corrected. So I'm going to uh, make a keyframe over here. And then I'm going to push this to uh, two seconds. I'm going to set two clicks again. I'm going to move my mask uh, to fill all, all the text. So uh, if you press play, you see that the mask is already animated. And then um, now what you can do is just set a little bit of a uh, feather over here and just some mask expansion. So if you press play, you see that your mask gets, gets a lot more smoother uh, and more nice. So, uh, now what you can do, uh, you can start copying this layers. Control D, Control D again, and just uh, set this one color to red, and this color to maybe blue. This blue. Okay. Now what you need to do is just to offset this mask. So this one is the white one. It's going to be the last one, and then. I'm going to push this a little bit, oops, a little bit over here, and this one a little bit over here. If you press play, you see that you already have uh, that mess that I, that I was talking about, so uh, it's really easy to make. And um, now if you want to make uh, different adjustments on this, it's also very easy. So uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to my my white mask. I'm going to hide all the, these two. I'm going to I'm going to modify my uh, my shape. So I'm going to set here. I'm going to bring my pen tool. I'm going to my mask again. Over here. That's bad. Okay. And I'm going to make one click over here and another click over here. And now I'm going to start modifying my my path. So we can have like a, that wavy uh, thing that you that you see on a lot of uh, animations. So um, and that way your mask won't get just straight on a, on one line. So uh, it's a really cool cool stuff for you to just to test and uh, make a lot of uh, things for animation. So uh, uh, I've changed my mask again, and now I'm going just to delete this one and bring this guy over here just for us to get uh, that shape of the mask because you're going to have this uh, 
because the mask was animated over here, I'm going to set this one off and we're going to animate the mask again. So, uh, so we have this, I'm going to pull this back, make two clicks on the mask so I can move it. Okay, I'm going to bring this girl a little bit down. I'm going to delete this keyframe again. This is just modifying the, the shape, um, uh, the shape uh, uh, for the animation. So um, you can make just uh, that first animation that we did. So I'm just uh, showing you, uh, like, um, how can you customize a little bit uh, the shapes for for we don't be so so much straight. So let's make this. I'm going to push to two seconds. I'm going to grab my shape again, and I'm going to bring her over here. And we have our animation uh, with this. Uh, let me just hide my mask. You see that your animation like cuts the cuts this like a more wiggle. So um, I think it's cool. So I'm going to copy this again. Control D, Control D, and going to offset this uh, again and colorize this again. So I'm going to this one is the white one, and this. One is red, and this one is going to be blue. Okay, now we just we just need to offset them. So um, this one goes over here, this one's over here, and if we press play, we should have that kind of animation. I think it's a really cool uh, thing to to learn here at the uh, Fetchland House. I was uh, I was trying to, to post this a lot of times, but. Uh, since I've been making some projects uh, in a few days uh, with this technique, and uh, I was, I wanted to, to share this uh, with you guys. So I uh, hope you keep for the full on FX channel house. Hope you subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and um, follow up our stuff and our tutorials and our client interests. And um, we'll be posting uh, really soon, guys. So, uh, cheers.